We're backstage at UFC 189. Uh, Conor McGregor, a new featherweight interim champion. As you're watching the fight through the first and second round, what's going through your mind? Uh, obviously, you know, there's a lot of anticipation for this fight. The place, place is crazy, man. And, and, and he's hitting him with shots and, and, and Chad is double leg. I mean, it was, it was exactly what I expected. I, I expected, I thought Chad that would, would, would trade with him a little bit. And, and I didn't know how Connor's power would feel to Chad. And then if, if Connor hit hard to Chad, he'd start taking him down. That's the way I thought it would go. Did you expect Connor to be able to get up from those takedowns as quickly and as smoothly as he did? Um, you know, it's all about the scramble. I, I was wondering, you know, I knew Chad has a powerful takedown and he could take him down, but could Connor scramble? I mean, that was the big question would be the wrestling and, uh, you know, so. Okay. And he answered that. Well, yeah, I mean, he, uh, Chad is, is one of the best wrestlers in the sport, and he took Connor down and, and, and he kept him down. The, the other thing is, is that, you know, you, you got to go five rounds with him. It was the main event, so five right. rounds. There was just a lot of factors to, to this fight. Connor took this fight uh, in a change of opponent from Jose Aldo in two weeks, and mm -hmm. Chad Mendes stepped up and took a fight yep. in two weeks. Speaking on both men, how do you feel about their determination to make sure when the UFC calls, they answer that? Well, you know, obviously Connor is the type of guy, I mean, what everybody loves about him, he has the type of personality. Mm -hmm. He's gonna fight, and um, <clears throat> and Chad Mendez, Chad Mendez is a stud, and and, and he steps up and and, and, he, and he took the opportunity, you know, um, to, to get the opportunity at another title shot and possibly another fight with Jose Aldo. I I wouldn't never expect Chad not to. That's the type of guy he is. Do you see this fight between these two happening again? I mean, yeah. The, I mean, if you look at the the, the baddest dudes in the division, it's Aldo McGregor, uh, Mendez, and uh, Edgar. So I talked to Frankie Edgar. Yeah. And he said that he spoke to Connor and he said, hey, I want the shot before you fight Aldo because we never know when he's coming back. Is that something that you would say, all right, this makes sense? No. What's next that then? That makes no sense whatsoever. That, all right, so what, what makes sense for you? Jose Aldo versus Conor McGregor makes sense Is for me and everybody else everywhere all over the planet. Maury McDonald versus Robbie Lawler. An incredible battle. Both men were just in the hospital. They tweeted a picture together, arm around each other. What did you think about that fight? <clears throat> one of the sickest fights, the sickest fight you will ever see. No, not one of them, the sickest fight you will ever see. Rory McDonald has so much heart and such a tough guy and has such an unbelievable chin. Um, and Robbie Lawler took 10 straight kicks to the head and stayed in there. I mean, it was an absolute war, uh, an incredible display of, of grit, determination, heart, and it was, it, was, it was unbelievable. Absolutely, and then the fight that preceded that, Jeremy Stevens versus Dennis Bermudez. Dennis tweeted that you said he gets an immediate rematch, is that correct? I never, I haven't even talked to Dennis. Oh, all right, so he's just tweeting out some other things. Okay, so we'll ignore that. Overall, the night, there were so many new things that were incorporated into the show, from the live performances to things on the Octagon. Um, when you look at it as a whole, what did you think of the whole evening? Yeah, I knew that we were going to do a lot. You know, we had graphics package. We had, we had you know, the, 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 the singing of the entrances and all.